Nuclear-Powered Attack Submarines Nuclear-Powered Attack Submarines, SSN, with the SS standing for submarine and N for nuclear-powered, are advanced military vessels powered by nuclear reactors for missions like anti-submarine warfare, intelligence gathering, and special operations. The SSN designation, standardized by NATO under Stanag 1166, was pioneered by the U.S. Navy with the USS Nautilus in 1954. The Skate class followed in 1957, and the British Royal Navy's HMS Dreadnought, using an American reactor, entered service in 1963. Initially focused on anti-submarine roles during the Cold War, SSNs have evolved into multi-mission platforms capable of launching cruise missiles and inserting special forces. Their nuclear reactors allow them to remain submerged for months without refueling, providing strategic stealth and enabling undetected operations in hostile waters. SSNs are equipped with advanced sonar, torpedoes, cruise missiles, and mines, making them highly effective in anti-submarine and land attack roles. However, their high costs and the challenges associated with nuclear reactors present political and environmental concerns. Despite this, SSNs are key assets for the US, UK, Russia, China, and France, with India and Brazil working on their own. Notable classes include the Los Angeles class and Virginia class in the US and the Akula class in Russia. Future SSN programs such as the US SSN X and the Ocus submarines underscore their continued importance in global naval power. Ballistic Missile Submarine a ballistic missile submarine, SSBN, with the B standing for ballistic missile and N for nuclear powered, is built to launch submarine launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, equipped with nuclear warheads. Unlike nuclear powered attack submarines, SSNs, which focus on tactical missions, SSBNs serve primarily as strategic deterrents. Their stealth and ability to strike targets thousands of kilometers away from submerged positions make them extremely hard to detect and target. As a key component of the nuclear triad, they provide second strike capability, reinforcing the doctrine of mutual assured destruction. SSBNs originated during World War II, with Germany's experiments on submarine-launched ballistic missiles paving the way. In the 1950s, the US and Soviet Union advanced these efforts, leading to the Soviet Zulu-4 class in 1955, first submarine capable of launching R-11FM missiles. The US followed with the USS George Washington in 1959, equipped with Polaris A-1 missiles. This arms race intensified during the Cold War, with the U.S. building 41 SSBNs and the Soviets deploying Delta and Typhoon-class submarines. Although never used in combat, SSBNs have influenced global power dynamics, especially during the Cuban Missile Crisis, where U.S. SSBNs were on high alert. Today, SSBN programs continue to evolve. Russia's Bory-class submarines, carrying the RSM-56 Bulava missile, are replacing older Delta and Typhoon models. Similarly, the U.S. is developing the Columbia-class SSBN to replace the aging Ohio-class fleet. India has also entered the SSBN arena with its Arihant class, while the UK maintains its Vanguard-class SSBNs armed with Trident II missiles. Guided Missile Submarine A guided missile submarine SSG or SSGN with the G standing for guided missile and N for nuclear powered is a specialized naval vessel designed to launch cruise missiles including both land attack and anti-ship variants. Unlike ballistic missile submarines SSBNs which focus on strategic nuclear deterrence guided missile submarines serve more flexible tactical roles often contributing to precision strikes in modern conflict. Guided missile submarines can carry large quantities of cruise missiles launched from vertical launch systems VLS or torpedo tubes these submarines can carry either conventional or nuclear warheads depending on the missile system the US Navy's Ohio class SSGNs converted from SSBNs are prime examples many are nuclear powered enhancing their endurance and operational range for extended submersion capable of carrying up to 154 Tomahawk missiles as demonstrated in strikes during Operation Odyssey Dawn in 2011 the development the development of guided missile submarines began during the Cold War, when the Soviet Union's Oscar-class submarines were designed to target U.S. carrier battle groups. Today, both the U.S. and Russia operate SSGNs, with the U.S. Ohio class and the Russian Oscar II class being prominent examples. China has followed with its Shang class Type 93 submarines. Looking ahead, the U.S. is advancing its program with Block 5 Virginia class submarines, which are set to replace the Ohio class and will incorporate new technology for enhanced stealth and firepower. 
Non-nuclear submarines. Non-nuclear submarines, or conventional submarines, SS, use diesel-electric or air-independent propulsion AIP systems instead of nuclear power. They are smaller, quieter, and more cost-effective than nuclear submarines, making them ideal for regional defense and coastal operations. Key features include diesel engines for surface travel and electric batteries for underwater movement. Modern variants with AIP can stay submerged longer than traditional models. Though their underwater endurance is shorter than nuclear submarines, their superior stealth allows them to approach targets undetected, excelling in coastal defense, reconnaissance, and anti-submarine warfare. ASW, equipped with advanced sonar, torpedoes, and anti-ship missiles, some can even launch cruise missiles. Germany's Type 212 submarines are widely used by European navies, while Russia's Kilo-class submarines, also operated by India and Vietnam, have been deployed in conflicts like the Vietnam War and regional tensions in Syria and Ukraine. Sweden's Gotland-class submarines demonstrated their ASW capability by sinking a U.S. aircraft carrier during NATO exercises in 2005. Countries like Japan, South Korea, and Germany continue to develop advanced non-nuclear submarine technologies, focusing on AIP systems, lithium-ion batteries, and enhanced stealth. These advancements aim to improve submerged endurance, operational range, and acoustic signatures, ensuring non-nuclear submarines remain critical assets for modern navies. Ballistic Missile Submarine A ballistic missile submarine, SSB, without nuclear power is a type of submarine designed to carry and launch ballistic missiles using conventional propulsion systems like diesel-electric or air-independent propulsion, AIP. Unlike nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, which dominate global naval fleets, SSBs offer a cost-efficient alternative for nations with smaller military budgets or regional defense needs. North Korea is the primary operator of these submarines, with China conducting limited tests on a single non nuclear ballistic missile submarine. SSBs are typically smaller and have fewer capabilities compared to SSBNs, both in missile capacity and operational range. North Korea's Gorey-class submarine, for example, can carry only three ballistic missiles, showcasing its limited strike capability. In comparison, nuclear-powered SSBNs, such as the U.S. Ohio-class, are equipped with up to 24 intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, providing significantly greater firepower. Despite these limitations, SSBs offer strategic value, especially for countries like North Korea, by providing a second strike option. Submerged ballistic missile launches are more challenging to detect, giving these submarines an element of surprise that land-based missile systems lack. While China's primary focus is on its nuclear-powered SSBN fleet, it has experimented with non-nuclear SSBs. Likely for testing purposes, SSBs are well-suited for regional defense and limited strategic operations, offering a more accessible deterrent for countries without the resources for a full-scale nuclear fleet. Midget submarines. Midget submarines, or small submarines, typically displace under 150 tons, though some designs may reach 400 to 500 tons, but are still classified as such. Usually manned by a crew of one to six, these vessels are often deployed and retrieved by larger motherships. Known for their compact size, high speed, and maneuverability, midget submarines excel in shallow and confined waters, where larger submarines might struggle. They are generally equipped with torpedoes and are special specialized for roles like harbor penetration, reconnaissance, and delivering divers. Developed during World War II, midget submarines have made significant contributions to naval warfare. The Italian Saluro Alenta Corsa SLC, or Maiale, was famous for its 1941 raid on Alexandria, where it planted mines on British ships. British X-Craft and German Biber also conducted successful attacks on enemy fleets. The Japanese Type A Kohyoteki-class submarines attempted a surprise attack on Pearl Harbor. In more recent conflicts, North Korean midget submarines were involved in the sinking of the South Korean corvette Cheonan in 2010. After the war, midget submarines evolved with modern designs like the Italian M23, Indian SO V400, and Turkish STM500, offering enhanced endurance, payload, range, and versatility. Swimmer Delivery Vehicles Swimmer Delivery Vehicles, SDVs, also called SEAL Delivery Vehicles in the U.S., are small, specialized submersibles used by naval special forces to transport divers covertly to mission locations like beaches, enemy harbors, or vessels. 
They are essential for operations involving reconnaissance, sabotage, and underwater demolition. Unlike traditional submarines, most SDVs are wet submarines, meaning divers wear full diving gear while riding inside, remaining exposed to water during transit. Key characteristics of SDVs include stealth, compact design, quiet propulsion systems powered by silver zinc batteries, and ability to operate in shallow or confined waters, often deploying from submarines or surface ships. Several variations of STVs exist, such as submersible boats that combine high-speed surface capabilities with underwater navigation. The Dry Combat Submersible DCS is another notable development. Unlike traditional wet STVs, the DCS keeps occupants dry inside, offering greater comfort and extended mission duration, though it remains specialized for delivering combat swimmers. The U.S. Navy has used STVs in the Gulf War, Iraq War, and Somalia. The latest models, such as the MK-8 Mod 1, boast better navigation, longer range, and greater gear capacity. Russia and the UK have developed similar vehicles, which remain crucial to Special Forces operations. Deep Nuclear Station AGS, or Deep Nuclear Station, is a specialized class of nuclear-powered deep-diving submarines developed and exclusively operated by Russia. Unlike conventional ballistic missile submarines, AGS units are deployed from larger host mother submarines. The typical mother submarine is the Delta class, with future upgrades expected to involve the larger Belgorod Oscar II class. Powered by nuclear reactors, AGS submarines have virtually unlimited operational range and endurance, allowing them to remain submerged and and operational for extended periods. They can dive to depths of around 1,000 meters, 3,280 feet, or potentially deeper, enabling them to operate in extreme underwater environment. One of the most notable AGS submarines is the Lawshar AS-31, named after a cartoon horse constructed from interconnected orbs, which reflects its unique titanium hull construction. Lawshar suffered a significant accident on July 1, 2019, and is currently out of service. However, it is an anticipated to return to operational status in the coming years. Deep Submergence Rescue Vehicle The Deep Submergence Rescue Vehicle, DSRV, is a specialized submarine designed to rescue personnel from disabled submarines stranded at great depths. Developed by the U.S. Navy during the Cold War, the DSRV can operate at depths of up to 1,500 meters 4,921 feet, with its primary function being to mate with downed submarines on the ocean floor and safely transfer trapped crew members to the surface. A key advantage of DSRVs is their rapid deployment capability. They can be transported by aircraft, such as the C-5 Galaxy, and launched from host vessels or submarines, allowing quick responses to submarine accidents worldwide. Equipped with sonar, robotic arms, and advanced navigation systems, DSRVs can dock with submarines even if they are damaged or at awkward angles. They are powered by large batteries that support electric propulsion and life support systems, enabling extended underwater operations. The U.S. Navy operated two notable DSRVs, Mystic, DSRVs, DSRV-1 and Avalon DSRV-2, each capable of rescuing up to 24 crew members at a time. Several other nations, including Russia, the UK, Italy, China, India, and Japan, have developed similar rescue submersibles tailored to their needs. In 2000, a DSRV was deployed during the search for the Russian submarine Kursk. Although rescue efforts were unsuccessful due to logistical challenges, more recently, in 2021, the Indian Navy used its DSRV to assist in the search for the missing Indonesian submarine Karai Nangala. NATO nations also pool resources through the NATO Submarine Rescue System, coordinated submarine rescue missions.